Welcome to UGA Sports Rewind. I am Patrick Garbin. This is my co-host, Dave McMahon. We are writers, researchers, and historians for UGASports.com of the Rivals Network. We're joined here tonight by a former standout receiver, Tavares King, who played from 2008 through 2012. In fact, he ended his career in 2012 as Georgia's fourth all-time leading receiver. In fact, he still is the fourth all-time leading receiver. Just over 2,600 receiving yards. Tonight, we're here at uh, Classic City Eats in Watkinsville. Specifically, we're back here in their golf simulator room, uh, an extraordinary room. So if you ever get a chance to use it, I definitely recommend it. But Dave, we're not here to talk about golf, no, are we? No, no, no. We're here to talk about football. And obviously, this week is the um, annual cocktail party um, game I, they, and they can call it anything they want to I still consider it a cocktail party the two of you probably consider it the cocktail party the fans at home still consider it a cocktail party so I'm gonna keep on calling it the cocktail party um, Georgia Florida doesn't get any bigger for most fans a lot of fans um, you being from the state of Georgia what were your thoughts um, about the this annual event um, before you entered UGA and while you're at UGA, what, what was going, what, what went through your mind about this big game? Man, honestly, prior to coming to Georgia, I didn't necessarily know much about the game, the rivalry, how much it meant to folks um, on the team, the fan base. Um, it wasn't until I got there and I realized uh, 07, no Sean jumps, jumps over. Uh, the whole team comes yeah. out, you know, it's rocking. I'm a senior then. I'm like, damn, that's cool. Uh, 08, uh, they beat us. They're they're killing us. And Urban Meyer calls a timeout. And it, and it was at that moment that I was just like, dang, I really hate that. Like, I, I, that, was, that was my rival, rival. This is a true rivalry moment. I was like, man, I really hate these guys. I understood it at that point. So for me, it wasn't until, until I was in the thick of it that, uh, you know, I, I felt that true animosity and that true hate. But after that, it was on. Well, you, you talked about coming to Georgia in 08 and, and you know, you signed in 08 with a, another good wide receiver. A.J. Green man. was in that class. Richard Samuel, who was an athlete uh, who had be a running back among other positions at Georgia, but Tavares, why'd you decide to become a Bulldog? Man, if, I, if I'm being honest, it'd have to be because it, it just felt like home. Coach Rick uh, was a person that, that made me feel like he was going to take care of me. He made my mom feel like he was going to take care of me, and he did that. I, I came into Georgia a boy, and I, and I left a man uh, with true understanding of, of life. Um, so that 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 in itself, and as, as well as the atmosphere, I mean, we're, we're in Athens, you, you feel it. So, uh, I mean, it's just an awesome place to be. So, it, it was an easy decision. That, and then, as well as playing with the best of the best in the SEC, I knew I was gonna get an opportunity to do that week in and week out. And, and you mentioned it, I played with, uh, I came in with a guy by the name of A.J. Green, and you know, that might have spooked a lot of guys away, but you know, I, it. It was something that I, I thought would be awesome to play alongside him and kind of be like a Batman and a Robin, and, and it was you know I, I kind of embraced that as an opportunity. Let me ask you mentioned Coach Rick. What 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 did he spent 15 years here at Georgia now currently lives here? But but just what's your feedback regarding not only an excellent coach but certainly a uh, extraordinary man yeah just uh i mean i mentioned it before just an incredible man you mentioned it um somebody that 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 again my my mom put her baby in in his hands and he he, he turned that baby into into a man and, and obviously there was some 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 bumps and bruises along the way i had a little a little learning curves along the way but you know he was somebody that that is somebody that that it just is a phenomenal human, and uh, I, I, I can't I I can't even put into words how much he means to me and how much he he meant to my career um, uh, as as a football player and, and as a man again just uh, more so as a man as a husband as a father um, everything so he he means everything to me. Let me ask you this: growing up in 
North Georgia, right? Mount Airy. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you were you a Georgia fan? I mean, um, actually, man, it's it's funny. My my dad, my daddy played at Clemson, um, so I grew up bleeding orange. Uh, going to all the Bowden Bowls when they were in, in Clemson. So, I, yeah, I, I grew up a Clemson fan. Um, so when I started getting recruited, Georgia was my first offer. I came down here to a, uh, uh, I think a rivals camp at the time. And dude, I, I tore it up. I was probably as big as this pen right here. Um, <laughs> and I tore it up and after the camp, Coach Rick called me in his office and was like, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna um, extend you an offer. And, and after that, you know, it was only till then, you know, Clemson started showing interest and by then it was too late, man. I was I was in love. I was in love with the Bulldogs. I was in love with Coach Rick and, and you know, Athens. So I was a dog by that time. Well, what's, um, the game that we've chosen and you've chosen um, was the 2011 Georgia-Florida game. And leading into that game, Georgia unfortunately lost like 18 of 21 games. I mean, there's some pretty tough stretches. I mean, To the that, Gators. Yeah, to the Gators, exactly. Lost 18 of tw- um, uh, 21 to the Gators. And Georgia in 2011 started the season 0-2 with some um, some early season losses. Was What was the feeling coming into the season? Then all of a sudden Georgia started winning and winning and winning. What was, what was going through the mind of the Bulldog players and the coaching staff and, and, the, and the rest of the gang um, entering that Georgia-Florida game? Um, we, we knew we were a good team. We had, um, obviously, like you said, uh, lost too early on, but by the time we got to Florida, we were kind of rolling and kind of knew that, you know, our destiny was in our own hands and, and we could, you know, could potentially do some special things if we, you know, took care of business. So our goal was to just go out and keep the focus. You know, Coach, Coach Bobo always said, uh, keep the main thing the main thing. And, and the and, offensive coordinator yeah, at yeah, the time, right? Yeah, Coach Bobo. <laughs> uh, so, so man, that, that was that was our our mindset as as an offense and, and more so as a team as well. Yeah. All right. Well, let's rewind our calendars to a decade ago, 2011 in Jacksonville, Georgia, who has just uh, got back in the rankings after winning five in a row. They're ranked 22nd with a record of five and two. Florida is four and three. Georgia, by the way, is a two and a half point favorite. Look at the standings in the SEC East. Georgia is up there at four and one. South Carolina is four and one. Florida two and three. Georgia hasn't won the SEC East since 2005. I mean, anything goes. Georgia has a ton of injuries set in this game, but Florida has the ball first. This is a uh, John Brantley, their quarterback, who was uh, who had led Florida to an overtime victory over mm. Georgia the year before, and then. They get it, loose here. Yeah, it doesn't look good to start with, huh? Yeah, and uh, look a little shaky there. Not breaking down, missed a little tackle. But my man Brandon Boykin hawks him down. What, what goes on your mind when you see that on the sideline? You're, you're on offense, obviously, and you, and you see something like this. Uh, what's going on? Oh, uh, man, <laughs> just so, hoping somebody makes makes a play, and, and it ends up happening. Um, he runs out of gas there. Boy, boy makes a play. Uh Hopefully at that at that point you were just hoping you could stop him and, and and you know maybe possibly get a turnover or like this right here hold him to three yeah. points. Well, oh, no. nah, psych. Yeah, not three points. Um, yeah. Their re- their regular kicker was uh, hurt and uh, this guy was subbing. There was a uh, Todd Grantham, yeah. Justin, who yeah. ironically is now the Florida and defensive it, coordinator. And they just showed um, Will Muschamp, who's now on the Georgia side. Yes, Dave said that was Will was in his first yeah. year as Georgia's. Uh, head coach, yep. Ben Jones, the roommate, yep. Tennessee yep. Titan. Yep, he had some ballers. My man Marlon Brown, big Bruce Figgins. I see, oh, big O. A lot of good guys on that yeah, team. Yeah, man. Let's see how we started this thing off. Always want to start positive. We'll curl route to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's some of those 2,600 yards. Yeah, that, yeah. A little curl route, open this thing up. Yep. Uh, wide open. Yep, nice and simple. If we can ask about Aaron Murray, they compared to other court. What did he have man, that maybe some other guys did? Man, Sticks really, really uh, took the classroom very serious. Um, I mean, and that's uh, all quarterbacks do that, but it's it's kind of a, a unique trait to have at a young age. Um, a very u- unique trait to have. So, 
I think that separated him at an early age. I think I think he was a redshirt sophomore at the time. Um, so ha just a guy that was always dialed in, always ready. And, and you called them sticks. What is there? Is that something we could uh, know about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, in baseball, I think they say sticks is uh, eleven, number eleven. So, okay, okay. so I'll, I just switched it up, sticks. And this this is Florida's Rainey, who had about two hundred and fifty all-purpose yards against Georgia the year before. This is a big blow to the Gators to lose yeah. this guy. Yeah, huge. Uh, Boy can step in there right there again to make another play. Um, and, and Rainey, man, you mentioned it. Rainey was a baller. They had they had uh, Jeff Demps, both track, yeah, tracksters, man, just dudes that could fly. Um, so obviously, our defense was worried about them throughout the week. Um, see what we got. So we got who do you think uh -oh. it is? <laughs> who? That guy loved the backfield. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, man. Uh, JJ, he, he was a terror. Uh, just a, a phenomenal got rusher off the edge. Relentless, relentless rusher, obviously. We're going to see it later in the game as well. Just somebody that kept coming after the quarterback. Let me see. Hold up. I remember watching this. 4th and 19. I'm thinking, dude, what? Are they doing? Why are they not kicking? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm like, what are they doing? So obviously they knew something we didn't. I, I'm gonna tell you what happened. We brought the we brought brought the crib, and uh, I think we had a little bust in coverage here. <clears throat> Brantley escapes it. Yep. Mm, wide open. Jordan yep. Reed, yep. baller. Yep. That always, that, that hurts when you get first down, second down, third down. And you stop them, stop them, stop them. Yeah, man, that's tough, down. dude. That's that's. That's always tough. Yeah, you see it. Fourth and nineteen. Yeah. And we don't want. We don't need to watch it again. Yeah. And then on the next possession, there's a turnover, um, and Florida's got the ball back. Yeah, we tried the screen, man. Uh, I see didn't get get the head around fast enough. Hit Crowell in the head. Hits and hits him right in the helmet. And lucky bounce goes to uh, I think Roberson there. Tough play. They get that thing back. And another side. Who do you think it is? Yeah. Who do you think it is? In the two games against Florida, he destroyed. Check him out up there. Look at him. I yep. think that's big Max Garcia getting handled. Yeah. Whew. Jarvis would have uh, four sacks in this game. Yep. Man, just hands. This is great hand work. Third and 22. Another long situation for Florida. Yeah, we did good. We did good. We keep them in it. Another sack. Who's that? Georgia as a team would have six. D'Angelo Tyson. Shout out my man, Tyso. Yeah, he's a big old one. Oh, and there's Mark Rick. Oh, yeah. There's the guy. A lot of people think he was all quiet. But Let's he, go. No, he, and that's one thing I could say. Coach Rick, Coach Rick wanted this game. Always, always, was always fired up. At, I mean, he was fired up for every game, but... I'll always want to Well, I guess as a player in Miami, as an assistant with Florida State, and, and a head coach of Georgia, it's always been against Florida. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. And, and that makes sense. Oh, good cut. That's for well. Good cut. Nice cut, I see. There's my mm. man. Big 8-2 with a nice grab. Yeah, Michael Bennett always seems to make some big catches. He, he was just a freshman. Yeah, man. He, he, he really uh, stepped up big for us. That that year and in the following year was just a uh, phenomenal player for us. Yeah, great ball, incredible catch, great catch. A two, Blair, pipe it. We like it. <laughs> <laughs> On the next kickoff, though. Yeah, yeah, I remember they go. To the crib. You talked about Dems earlier. To the crib. Yeah, man, they had some dangerous cats back there. Obviously, when you have dangerous guys, you have to worry about special teams. And uh, special teams was something that was talked. I obviously talked about every week. But when you play a Florida team like like them that had a Percy Harvin uh, years prior and Jeff Dems and Chris Rainey, uh, guys like that, you got to be dialed in on teams and. Uh, just a mishap by the dogs right there. We go down 14-3. And you know who it is. <laughs> that guy. That guy. 
Sackman Jones. Sackman Jones. Look at that. Look at that little up and under there. He hit him with a little Euro step, looking like <laughs> James Harden. You know, that defense in 2011 really and, improved. And, a lot of it had to do with, with guys like him. Uh, uh, John Jenkins yeah, yeah. Was, a, was there. Bakari Rambo had started to step up. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yo, when, you get, when you're getting pressure like that yeah. and guys are wreaking havoc, making it hard, it, it, it elevates everybody's play. Your back end looks so much better when guys are doing things like that. So Jarvis was a, 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 a one-man wrecking crew, but he did have a lot of help as well, too. Well, it's 17-3. Could have been a lot worse, but the defense um, came, came out big. Run, or Run. Run. He was pretty good, nimble for okay. him. Okay. Right? Just a lot of people thinking mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go back for him. Let me. <clears throat> okay. Th- yeah. Yeah, okay, Murray. I like it. Yeah, this was uh, one of his better rushing performances at Georgia. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Blair, Blair was pretty good his first couple of years, but this year yeah, he, he had- struggled wise. But overall, overall, he was looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what was go- going on that day, but it's. it's I, I like Blair. That's my guy. Oh, faking that corner blitz. We got. Bam! Somebody come in here and pop him. Yeah. Bop, let's get oh, that. Ball tree. Let's get that. Good play, Tree. You know, that, that wound up being probably one of the biggest fumble recoveries in Mark Rick. Era. Well, I, well mean, I, I would say it was it was a monster play in the game. Seventeen yep. three. Um, they're about to go down. Look, this is a first down right here. They're about to go down, and, and then obviously Oval do some tree, do Rainbow. something. Tree comes in, goes for the ball. Great play, Tree. Ogletree Tree turned out to be a really good player as well. Great recovery by by Bo. Great great job. So oh. first down. So late, late oh. in the first half. There you are. No. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh. man, I, look, I'll tell you what happened. I beat this guy so bad off the line. Let, let me run it back. I beat this guy so bad off the line up here that I thought my man Sticks was just going to put it on me. You're up and top. And it was just, yeah, I'm up top up there. Okay. I c- cooked him, cooked him off the line. And I and I, I thought I thought Sticks was going to put it on me. It's on me. Uh, and he just laid it out, and I couldn't get to it. I, I should have came down with it anyways, though. I got a hand on it. But, hey, man, lived to fight another day. It's all right. <laughs> man, y'all, y'all made me relive that, man. Uh, <laughs> I have forgot about it. It's a good moment. <laughs> but, 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 hey, but, but put some good ones in there for you. <laughs> Fourth and five. This is this is huge. Down yeah, by two yeah, touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a play. What a play. Remember this like it was yesterday. Oh. What a play. What a throw. Michael and Bennett. I and I said it earlier. This dude, this kid, Michael Bennett, grew up, man. He grew up that year, that year, that camp, that summer camp, uh, those early games. Uh, he really grew up and and played big for us in the slot. And what a bigger moment! No bigger moment than this moment right here. Watch this high point, man. Hey, mm. yep. <laughs> that's mine. Yep, that is mine, sir. What a play. What a freaking play. And you definitely wanted points with under two minutes left. Yeah, right? yeah, needed it. We needed it. We needed it. What a play. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. There we go. Hey. <laughs> hey. Harry uh, is happy. Early third quarter, still 17-10 to 10 Florida. Georgia having a punt here. Okay, I got Drew Butler. Drewby. Blake Sailors. Hey, man. I talked about it. Special teams. Special teams is huge. Huge. People want to talk offense. People want to talk huge. defense. But special teams is incredible. Huge. What a play. Great punt. Way to down that thing, Blake Sailors. Rameek, you there. And there you go. Florida deep into it. Just like that. They're on the two. Uh-oh. Come here, Sanders. Smack him. Mm. Oh. Herrera. That was nearly a safety. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh five two, God. five two, and Marlowe got there. Okay. You gotta see it a lot. Smack! Yeah. Whew. Yeah, younger Marlo Herrera. Yeah. And see, you don't get corners that feel like that all the time. That's coming up and Sanders big time player. That's coming up and wanting to make a play right there. But now Georgia has the ball again. 
Down by a touchdown. Oh, they, they bring it. They brought a corner blitz. Picked it up. Way to go, Carlton. Okay, get up out of there. Woo. Get down, old boy. That was a, you got hurt a little bit. Yeah, a little banged up. My guy's tough, though. It was a legit hit, unlike what Auburn does sometimes. <laughs> little Nick Fairley action. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, those shots hurt, man. Those thigh, those thigh guys. Probably got a little thigh contusion right there. Yep. And Rhett. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 another turnover on, on, on their side of the field. Check this out, man. I want y'all to see something. Look where this dude come from, though. <laughs> Look where this guy comes from, y'all. Who are you talking about, Jarvis? Hello, look, he's way over here. I need it. Mm -hmm. Give me the ball, sir. <laughs> Sean Williams, jump on that thing. Big play. Monster play. Turnovers are always big, but when they're on your side of the field. Yeah, and, yeah, that's the thing. When, they're, when you get turnovers, when they're backed up, huge. You make it easier on offense. Yeah, you heard me say it. <laughs> Let's go. Third and four. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh, boy. Mm. Mm. So it's fourth down. Big mm. play. Did you think you were going to um, get a, go for a field goal here, or did you, you know you were going for it? I think that we all knew that it, it, it was a turning point in this game if we didn't come off this field with more than three points. Big moment. Uh down here at the bottom, just going mm -hmm. up and making a play. You talked about like missing the play earlier, and now you make the big play here. Yeah, okay. man, just uh, just staying the course. I called Z Bang, supposed to run up, fake like I was running a five yard in. You jumped about a million miles in the air. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't even jump it. Uh, the kid didn't jump it. Jalen Watkins, he didn't even bite on it. But I, Murray put it back shoulder, went on top of his head. And just made a play. Better catch by eye. How, how tall are you, Tavares? Or, and I'm guessing uh, about the same height as you yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, probably the same height I was then. I'm, I'm six, six, one and a half. Six, one and a half. Woo! This is a play. By yeah, what a play, Boykin. Hey, man, this dude makes plays all the time in the slot there. He makes plays offense, defense, and special all teams. All the time, playmaker. I got to watch that again. Now they're going for a field goal to break the tie. Well, 40 yard. Dang. Now they're up three towards the end of the third. Up three. Let's see. Third and nine. A little out route. Oh, give me that. Mm. That's a big first down. Yeah, yeah, pretty big. Uh, keep the chains moving. Knew where the first down line was. Yep. Put that pressure on them. Step on those toes. Good throw. Good catch. Let's keep rolling. Now this one's awesome right here. I remember it because it's my roommate. It was my roommate, Rhett McGowan. Walk on. Comes in. Makes a play. Uh, Somebody gets banged up. He has to come in. Might have been me. <laughs> I think I pulled my hammy. Next man. And uh, Malcolm Mitchell didn't actually play in this yeah, game. Yeah, so, we so we were so we were down. So I think I did something to my hammy. As a matter of fact, that play. And Rhett comes in, runs a runs a runs a great run it route, which is a hitch. We called it second and four. Keep sort of like the change moving. This year's team is a lot of a lot of wide receivers that can make plays. Man, we had so many receivers on our team. It, it was crazy. Guys stepped up and made plays all year long. Rentavious Wooten, Rhett. Conley. Conley. Young freshman Conley. Yep. Uh, and then there's a tight end who's essentially a receiver. Right. Yeah. And then you had Big O Worsen. honing in on the middle of the field. And, and uh, let me tell you something. When he got the ball, he was a load. But He's down. a monster, bro. He's a monster. Hmm? He could move, man. He was, whew, goodness gracious. He's uh, the one that broke uh, Florida's national championship yeah, trophy. Oh, yeah. yeah. He had a recruiting Yeah, he did, yeah. he did the right thing. 
So Blair and tries Blair, to tie it and, and uh, nope. That's probably why Georgia's going for it all those fourth downs. Fourth quarter, our quarter is what we always used to say, man. We still hold the fours up to this day, obviously. The fourth quarter, our quarter. Fourth quarter, our quarter. You know what that meant? We was going to try to enforce our will on them up front. We are going to try to pound the rock. We was going to bring the heavy hitters in. And we brought one of the heaviest of the heaviest hitters in, and Richard Samuel, and he just was – Hoping. He was he was possessed. Just you know, he, he, he was a third string running back for this game. He gets hit in the freaking backfield and still gets the first down. Yeah, man, he gets hit. Boom at the line of scrimmage, mm-hmm. goes three more. Come on now, legs always moving. I need it. Yeah, I need it. What a play! What a play right here. I think. Let me see. Mm, get off me. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More Samuel. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Oh, let's Good go back. Good job by the offensive line. Let's Good go. job by Samuel. Great job by the O-line. Monster job by the O-line. Watch him run over this. Boom. Oh, mm. my goodness. That looked a little Herschel Walker. <laughs> <laughs> he did all the hard work getting there, and then he puts it in. Yes, sir. Let's watch this old line play. Boom. Get up out of here, sir. We need you to get out of here. So we're going to move you. Oh, and then oh, I'm going to wow. come back and move you. Oh, you got you gotta love it. You got to love it. Who is that? Mark Beard. Do your thing, Mark Beard. I like it. What a play. Good job, O.L. Akuna Matata. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Everyone on the sideline have Watch, fun. Watch Stanzler. Have fun, Conley. We turn. It's 24-20. Now we just got to hold on. Uh-oh. And, uh, come here. As come here. Said, this oh, my. was just Woo. dominant in the second half. Florida had 32 total yards and one first down in the second half. Yeah, I mean, our, our defense was, was locked in. Coach Grantham is really is a really respectable def- defensive coordinator. I think he's very solid. I mean, he's going he's gonna to blitz all the time. You see JJ getting hands on on uh, Brantley. They're always we're always we're always gonna try to touch you. We're always trying to touch you. We're gonna make sure you feel us. Yes. There's a Dan, Dan Quinn. Quinn. Yep. How about that? Fourth down. They're going for it. Sorry. <laughs> Double Sorry. Sack. Sorry. That guy. Man, that guy. Yeah, their left tackle had a rough outing, man. He kept long arming him. Boy, you better get up out of here. <laughs> Look at this. Nope, get that off. He was past him in a second. <sighs> man, he's incredible. Incredible. Four sacks. He did just as good in another game against Florida. And he also made a big play in that game as well. So what goes through your mind right now? You get basically under four minutes, and you get basically well, I'm, you're up by four. Yeah, you in four minute mode. You want to stay in bounds, not do that. Uh, you want to stay in bounds, obviously, and, and and just keep the chains moving, keep the clock moving. Um, positive thinking, positive, positive plays, positive plays, positive yards. Eat as much clock as you can. Yeah, eat eat all the clock. Eat all the clock. Second and nine. Woo! What a play. Mm. What a catch yeah. by a young, yeah. young. He was a freshman. Young too. Chris Conley. And, and I think Chris at this point, man, was was just starting to feel it. Was just starting to understand, like, what it was to be, you know, a, a college receiver. And he, he was he, – he's – to this day, one of the hardest workers I know. So he's always worked, and so I, what a what a what a great yeah, way the force. to feel it, you know? Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> he felt the force. The force was with my man right there. High pointing it. Yep. It's mine. Great, great play. That's something I gotta say. We we high pointed the ball this game out wide. Mike Mike goes up, make a play. Uh, I go up, make a play. And there, and there you see it right there. Uh, 
Conley going up top, going up high, making a play, coming down with you. So many people in this team making big plays when it matters the most. Yeah, and that's what it's all about, man. That, that's what this. I, that's what I think this game is about for Georgia. Um, guys stepping up, guys stepping up, making plays. So basically, under a minute left, Georgia has ball at the eleven yard line. And Richard Samuel's not done. He's nope. still possessed. Nope. I need yeah. it. I want. Yo, he wanted to get in. Look, <laughs> yeah, look, he he, my, my guy rolled in. Oh, just one more foot. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Ah! <laughs> he about got it. Let's go. Yep. Hey, but you know what? Losing 18 out of 21 to Florida, a win is a win. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You don't think if you don't think that game was was big to us, was big to Coach Rick. Um, look at Zach right there, man. His his son. If you don't think that game was was big, look at the big old was big for us. Um, just. Uh, Especially, I think, losing to him like we did the, the year before, bro. If you don't think that game was big, then I don't know what to tell you. Were Look you, were you jumping into the stands? Oh, yeah. I was I was definitely in the stands somewhere. Man. <laughs> Cameras didn't catch I see Boykin. Mike, look at that as a coach. That's funny. All right. That's a wrap. Georgia 24, Florida 20. It was uh, – for, for that series, a pretty rare win for Georgia. As we said, I mean, Georgia was 3-18 and against the Gators coming in. Since then, beginning with that game, Georgia's now 6-4 and against Florida the last 10. The series has flipped yeah, to some degree. And as you mentioned, like, during the game, TK, um, a lot of good solid players throughout making big plays after big plays, especially on third down, fourth down. Lots of big plays on offense, defense, and in special teams. I mean, I was looking at the record book earlier right here, and, I mean, you, uh, like, individually, you're in the top 10 here in, in receptions. You're in top 10 in receiving yards. You're top 10 in touchdown receptions. You're, you're basically everywhere. And uh, the one, one category that is kind of pretty cool, um, if you ask a normal Georgia fan who has the most rec receiving yards in a single game, you might get answers like um, Heinz Ward. You might get answers like A.J. Green, maybe George Pickens, maybe Ter Terrence Edwards. But no, it's, it's you that has the most, um, <laughs> the most receptions in a game, uh, receiving yards in a game. You had 205 Receiving yards. I mean, how special is that? Say, wow, I I have the most ever in such a prestigious university. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I was just out there doing my thing, doing what I was supposed to do. Obviously, a lot goes into individual stats, going to individual awards and things like that. Uh, again, like I'll mention it again. I had so many people around me that did special things. So. Uh, to, to make all of that stuff happen in, in the first place. Um, so it's, it's, it's super cool to be a part of that, but it's even cooler to be a part of that, the, the, the team aspect. You, 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 meant it's, you have the individual stats, but it's really a team stat that, that's the, what matters most. Right, 100%. You know, you, you mentioned all these players that you played with, and, and I know you've done a lot of things since you've uh, left college and whatnot, but do you still are able to associate with the program and come back around and see games? Yeah, and yeah, definitely. I, um, I'm a member of the McGill Society. Uh, I, I still love my dogs through and through, uh, so I get back to several games. I, I check out some practices, um, uh, talk to Coach Hank uh, every now and then, check on my receivers, see how they're doing. So, so yeah, I'm definitely involved. Anyone in particular that like like, like certain players that you keep in touch with? Uh, no, nah, just I mean all, all of them, all the receivers. I just try to keep a, a good rapport on all of them, just checking in on all of them, see how they're doing health wise, if they need anything. Um, uh, you know, just from a from a big brother perspective. Um, you know, late in the summer we actually got to sit down and talk to talk to the guys um, like big brothers. So it was kind of cool. So just trying to keep that going. Well, Tavares, we appreciate it, man. Appreciate you coming on here with out of Classic City Eats oh, yeah. back here in their golf simulator room. And that'll be it for uh, UGA Sports. Rewind, taking a look at the 2011 Georgia-Florida game. Wow. Thank you.